Okay. Greetings, dear, precious, magnificent spirit soul. So, just breathe into your heart where we're all connected. Yes. That's because that's where we abide with and immersed in the divine. The self of all selves, super self, Paramatma, according to the Vedas. Yes, of course. I want to acknowledge you, who you are, that you're watching this or listening. Please share it with others that you know that could help them. And I want to thank all the people that are helping to when they contribute uh, their money and their energy, but through love helps us to be able to offer these videos, these lessons for free out there for anyone right now. They could use a whole study course, transform their lives in every way. So breathe in right now on my topic. The power in self-regulation. Because see, self-regulation is really, really important because it means you're trusting yourself. You, you're regulating your life from your heart, from your knowing, from your true self. Not from an overlay, not from layers of ignorance, not from belief systems and programming and, and mesmerism and any of these things. It's like you are self-regulating. And there's this uh, video that I watched. I was so impressed. Luke Rudkowski made this. And there was this other person. I, I don't really remember his name. But anyway, they went to this town in Mexico in one of the areas that had the highest crime rate and violence. This one town had uh, that the townspeople got rid of in the town all of the police all of the politicians, all of those uh, kinds of people that were uh, uh, being the authority over everybody and telling them how to live and what they do. This is what they did. And everyone is self-regulatory. And what happened is, and they were going through this town with the videos and you would know how people were and they're happy and the, and they're, and the loving. And it was the elders, the elder people, who are also being guideline, helping people guideline, but to be self-regulatory. And see, we're taught that you have to have all these rules and regulations. You have to have all these laws and all these controls because you're so evil and you're so stupid and you don't know how to uh, control, live your own life. Somebody else is better and they're more superior because they have more degrees in this. And some of those people know so much less than anybody else knows. Because the, obviously, the more you know about this reality, the less you know about yourself. And the, the self is the source. So when you know the source, and then you know also how this operates and how suffering is created and, and that program, you also have the knowledge and the know-how of how now to be the fullness of who you are and to have your world be a magnificent, beautiful world because of your magnificent, beautiful consciousness of God, the divine. This is who you are. So to self-regulate. And it, it's one time when I was, I was had my ministry in San Diego, uh, La Jolla, California, and um, this uh, woman, this mother asked if I would counsel her daughter who was a cocaine addict who in, uh, in just, uh, uh, injected cocaine into her uh, body uh, with a needle, whatever. And I thought, oh, gosh, I don't know. And I went, well, oh, okay. I Because I thought, well, I don't know. I have never training in that. I don't know what to do about that one. So, but I thought, well, you know, I'll do what I do. I'm going to love her unconditionally. That meant, didn't mean I didn't observe what she was doing. That didn't mean I didn't know that what she do, was doing would be harmful in that way. But I wasn't involved in that. Okay, I wasn't involved in that. That's her story. That's what she's been doing. That's not what I was concerned about. Because see, when we get in touch with who we are, and this is that sense of spiritual healing, spiritual empowerment, and, and spiritual enrichment, that is what's so important because it's our taking back what we've been giving away and been victim to. And yet we're not victim, perpetrator, or savior. These are games and rules. You see, you, you know, I want to say that one. That you need to know 
are going on and their distractions. A, a, you're really serious on your spiritual path then. And then noticing as I watch this video, how it really works. And yet the problem is when people are self-regulatory, everyone prospers. And you don't have a certain group who control everyone else as a business plan, you see. No, you don't do that. Okay, here comes a nice little airplane. So I just want to complete. Breathe into your heart. Trust yourself. And trust you can regulate and manage yourself because you are wisdom. Not the mind. You. Hugs. Rawr, 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 rawr. Hey, well, it, just wait a minute. And then try to redo just what you did in uh -huh. case we have the option to edit it. So. Okay. Because it's going by pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm okay with it. I, I, I was finished. It was like complete. Because okay. even though it was just starting, I said, here comes the plane, and I just did another sentence or so, and that was it. Okay. I think that'd be fine. Because it was a good finish. Don't you agree? Yes, <laughs> I liked it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Persistence goes the distance. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Good one. Yeah, you know what? That's good. a really good one. You know what happened? People give up. And you know what we call the evil? No, they don't give up because they don't have anything else. And they'll keep at it. So don't you think they're all going to change and be all nicey-nicey, everybody? No, 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 no. You have to persist. And when you keep persisting and you never give up, you will always be victorious because you are victorious in every single moment, you see. And I don't want to say that one. <laughs> in every single moment. You are centered in who you are. You are self-regulating. You are observing and witnessing. You are experiencing the breath in your nostrils as you move out of your mind and into your heart. As you get those shoes off and start experiencing your energy with nature and the elements and the integrity, listening, and in your prayer, what you do is you, in the silence, listen. And then you will feel a click. And in that click or that moment, you're in, the God, you're in God consciousness and all is well. And when we could stay there and maintain that, that's called pray without ceasing. And I don't mean prey on people like a vulture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, and it is. It's interesting. Those are the same word. Okay. Breathe into your heart, but and persist. And persist takes you the distance. And when you persist, you're already there, because that's you're consistently and persistently self regulating and being fully present in each now.